Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to talk about something very important that you all are mostly interested that's Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty and Bank Nifty's options. So what is something important though also I would like to tell you in case you haven't joined my Telegram channel, please click on the link that is given on the top in the description box and the join also. Also a link of live trading is given. Please click on that link and join us every day from 10 to 11 for live trading. So I'm hoping thousands of people join us for live trading and they make good money and I'm hoping that you all will also benefit from it. So now let me take you to the Bank Nifty options. First and foremost, this is Bank Nifty's option chain, which I have picked up from the NSC's website. Have a look at some very, very important points that probably no other YouTuber will tell you. When I have opened the recent, uh, you know, the current month expiry, you will see 34,700, 34,600, 34,500, 34,400, 100, 100. You will, you will see the ladder of 100 points. Like every next option will be at 100 points. 34,800, 34,900, 35,500. Now, what all are other availabilities? Have a look at it. If I go to the option chain and see here, july you get weekly options august you get weekly options then you get monthly options from september you get the monthly option then after september you get the quarterly option so right after september you will get the december option after december you will get the march options then after march you will get the june options so this is how options you know in back 50 look like now year-end options are very very important so let me take you there important thing you all can notice that there are only a ladder of 500 points that means 34 500 after that 33,000, then 31 500 then 30,000, then 28 500 and so and so forth so the movement is of not really even 500 it is a movement of 1500 points so let notice here let me take a pen so here if you notice this place is 34,500. Above it, you will get 33,000, then 1,500, and so forth. In the top direction, also 1,500's ladder you, you are getting, right? Notice these are important parameters for you. These are forming important boundaries for you. Now, let's go to another expiry, which is uh, September. Again, an important quarter. And let me go to September. Yeah, this is September quarter. And you will see here highest, where is the highest option writing taking place? So notice these numbers. These are the places where highest option writing is happening. Right? So let's see what are these places. So 35,000, 34,500, 34,000. Then over here, 34. 3,500, here it is 35,500. So I hope you all understand that the ladder of 500 is very, very important. Even when we are trading in the current month expiry, these multiples of 500 are very important. Like 35,000, 34,000, 34,500, 33,500. And if you want to understand this more clearly, I'm going to take you to the trading view platform. What I have done, I have marked 32,500, 33,000, 33,500, 34,000, 34,500, 35,000, and 35,500. So, and then let me mark 36,000 also because here, year end option writers are active. Now, when I told you this one particular thing, in case you like this video, please give a thumbs up by now because no other YouTuber will tell you in this detail. So I told you in September, 500 options are very active. In December, the 1500 multiples are very active. So 36,000, 34,500, 33,000, 31,500, 30,000, and so on and so forth. So these become very important landmarks because people, you know, sell long-term options year in advance or maybe seven, eight months in advance, nine months in advance. So these, these are very, very important borders. So what, have, what I have exactly done, all the multiples of 1500, like 30, 36,000, 34,500, 33,000, I have marked in two. 
and this is magnetic cash chart and have a look at very very nicely so that you all i have put the 30 minutes chart have a look at the chart with clear perspective this has behaved as a very very strong resistance then 35500 behaved as a very strong resistance then 35500 behaved as a very strong resistance 34500 behaved as a strong support zone have a look at 32500 is a very very strong support zone have a look at 34 34000 again a strong resistance again 35300 is again like few points are left but still it's a very very strong support zone so once you understand these finer nuances your options selling can become better your supports and resistance will be better so what you need to understand right now where has nifty taken a support in last few days in fact last trading session which was on 15th july where has back nifty taken a support it's taken a support at 34500 so what could be expected you know like i'm going to post a screenshot right now right here you will see that international markets like including the sti nifty has uh, dow jones uh, nasdaq uh, dax ftsc cac and uh, singapore nifty all of them have closed massively gap up massively in green now what can be expected on monday that market will open gap up now suppose if market opens gap up where could be a resistance as you see right here the resistance is going to be at 35000 very very important resistance will be here suppose market opens here then what is what could be our way of trading into it how can we make a trade what you have to do come to the option chain go to the current month expiry and see what is happening at the level of 35000 right now huge call writing has happened at 35000 means on on this friday people have written a lot of call options that means it's a very strong barrier but suppose back nifty opens above 35000 then there is a possibility what could be a possibility now let's talk about the possibility it's almost opening let's say it opens about 300 points wherever it closed you know which is at 37 34724 movement of 35500 is not very difficult for back nifty so you in case back nifty opens above 35000 what you have to understand that it may go up slightly it may go up slightly then come back here and then these people who have written the options at 35000 they will start unwinding it takes a support from here and goes up and that is when you can take your entry right so this could be one way of trading another way possible could be that it opens gap up and from there it comes down and takes a support somewhere at the bottom that could be your entry i don't see a reason why it should come down and take a support so down it will open gap up go up slightly and then come down to 35000 and then you will have a good entry so what i'm saying a little information a little knowledge can can make you better trader and see in front of you i have marked these 500 lines see here beautiful support at this space option writers are very very uh, you know people with deep pockets and you can always remember that they will always you know decide how market is going to behave uh, so learn the way smart money thinks see here this is 37000 have a look at 30 uh, 36500 all of them will behave as a strong resistance or strong support zone your your trade should be planned accordingly have a look at this place 38000 again a very strong barrier right in front of you see here this is a very strong barrier how we look at 39000 it has been a barrier but there there's a huge gap so yeah here is 39000 somewhere here is 39000 at this place so um, a little information so you must have a platform where you can mark all the 500 points in the cash back nifty chart and watch what is happening look at how beautifully the bank nifty supported the levels of 34500 and taken a bounce from there so as i showed you in the 
in the screenshot that all the international markets have been positive, there's a possibility that Bank Nifty will open gap up. And from there, as I told you, next resistance is going to come at 35,500. So if you learn, you will be able to trade better. All the best. I think this may help you in taking your decisions. I've given you the logic why 500 and 1500 is a very, very important ladder as far as the Bank Nifty is concerned. And you can see by yourself how the option chain highest you know even in the current month expiry you will see the highest call option will be written at the level of 500 multiples why because this not only takes care of the weekly expiry it also takes care of the monthly yearly quarterly expiry as well so if you like the content please give a thumbs up and like share and subscribe and join us for the live trading see you in the live trading on monday